Bristol's return to the top flight has made this a year to remember and Ashton Gate rose to the challenge of seeing out 2018 in style. More than 18,000 there to greet their heroes and a Newcastle side looking to add to their two away league wins so far this season. But the long journey south seemed to tire the Falcons out and after 75 seconds they certainly couldn't catch Bears scrum half Harry Randall. On a weekend of early tries, perhaps this one was too quick for Bristol because it merely galvanised Newcastle. Relentless pressure finally rewarded by one of Nicky Gonover's less eye-catching scores. Toby Flood's boot gave the visitors a lead, which they enhanced further just before half-time. George McGuigan's solo break stopped just short, but strength in numbers finished the job. Callum Chick's try and Flood's conversion gave Newcastle a 10-point advantage at the break. Bristol's second-half response was another flying start and this one lasted longer. Charles Piotal's second Premiership try for the club confirmed the shift in momentum. And six minutes later, the gate was really rocking. Piotal involved again amid some impressive handling, which finally created space out wide for Luke Morahan. With that, the Bears led, and their dominant third quarter was completed by an Ian Madigan penalty. Newcastle was staring down the barrel of a very costly defeat, which prompted a little bit of magic from Toby Flood. And on his 21st birthday, Adam Radwan pounced, and suddenly you could hear a pin drop. Flood and Callum Sheedy traded further penalties, and we were still all square with tension rising and four minutes remaining. That all changed with try number four for the home side. Replacement lock Ed Holmes certainly deserves a mention. And if Radwan had marked his special occasion, Bristol winger Tom Pincus won't forget his first ever Premiership start in a hurry. Bristol held on for a fourth home win of the season, this one with a precious bonus point. The victory meant breathing space at the bottom of the table and a happy new year for one coach at least.